If you're a class one driver, fed up of working for somebody else, and were thinking of getting into trucking business, haulier business, owner operator, whatever you want to call it, you will need an operating license. And if you don't know where to start, this is the video you should watch first before applying for your operating license. I will explain in this video how to apply for the operating license, what kind of license will you need and everything else that you need to know before you even go ahead and apply for the operating license. My name is Agnes and on this channel I talk about trucking business which my husband is running alongside my husband who isn't present in this video today. I thought I'll do a video alone because he's working actually on the road driving those trucks and I am a qualified CPC transport manager. That means I can act as an internal transport manager in his business. So before we begin with how to actually apply for the license, perhaps you should first understand that there are three types of license and you need to know what kind of license you want to apply for. So there are three types as I've mentioned, one is restricted, one is standard national and third one is a standard international. The only reasons why would you want to apply for a restricted license is if you are actually running a transport business, perhaps with a warehousing and you want to drive only and predominantly your own goods. So for example, Tesco or Sainsbury's or big supermarkets, they have a big fleet of trucks and they use them on a regular basis. They don't subcontract their trucks to anyone else. And this is when you would need to apply for a restricted license. In any other case, if you drive a lorry over 3.5 ton, you need to apply for a standard license. And obviously national one is for driving in the United Kingdom and for standard international is for you to be able to drive it outside the UK. Now the basic distinguisher is drive for hire and rewards. So obviously if you're driving for somebody else, you are driving on a hiring and reward basis. Also before you apply for the operating license, there are a few things that you need to be aware of because you would have to have them pre organized or maybe thought of before you even go ahead and apply for it. First of all, you will need to open up a company because you cannot apply as a self-employed person to run a business. So you may want to hire an accountant to help you out with this and he'll help you open up a company and most likely you're going to have to register for VAT. Again, accountant would be able to help you with this. You have to think about where is going to be your operating center, which allows you to park your trucks and trailers on the yard. So in order to do that, you need to research in which traffic area you want to be operating your business and then look for an operating center within the area because you want to be as close to your possible opportunities as possible. This will save you time and also saves you a dead mileage. Once you know your operating area, another thing that you're gonna have to consider is placing in an advertisement. This is crucial and you cannot go past the application process without advertisement in a local area. And this is a physical advertisement that will go for the public to inquire in case someone wants to object your trucks being parked up in the operating center and they have 21 days to do so. This is why sometimes the process can take a little bit longer because if someone may complain, which probably would have been only a council or someone from government because local people, why, why would they mind? There is already operating center and you probably wouldn't ever have a public inquiry from people in the local areas. However, it does happen and traffic commission needs to wait for 21 days for anyone to object should they wish to. By the way, if you're getting any value from this video, I would really appreciate if you like it and also share it with those that might want to hear it too. Thank you so much. You will also need a transport manager. Now there is two options. You can do it yourself. So you can go ahead and pass a CPC qualification, which will allow you to be an internal transport manager. You will have to take into consideration that if you are internal transport manager, you will have to take allowance of the time that you will be working as a transport manager in your company and deduct this from the time that you're working as a driver. So this is the only thing to have in mind if you do want to be an internal transport manager, but if you want to hire out the external transport manager, you can do that or you can get your partner to go and do a CPC training for you and help you out in the business. This is what my husband cleverly done. He sent me to do a CPC and this is how I am now his transport manager. You will also have to have a maintenance in place. Then every six to 13 weeks, you will need to send your trucks for PMI. Your operating center might already have in place a garage or mechanic that will be able to do your PMIs. If not, then you have to find one that is local to your operating center. And for those three things, which is transport manager, operating center, and also 
the maintenance you will have to have contracts in place for you to be able to use those services before you even apply for the license now the last but not least a very important thing is the financial standing financial standing means that you need to have available funds at any point in your business should you wish to need to use them so having a big trucks means that you do have quite high costs of repairs and maintenance and should you need to use those funds they're always available for you and you should never go below that level in your cash flow or in your cash availability should traffic commissioner want to come and check you do need to have those funds available for you to use at any point and that will vary according to amount of trucks that you are applying for so i'll put this information on the screen for you to know how much of availability of a cash you need to have so-called financial standing and you need to have those funds available. And one more thing that you wanna think about before you even apply for operating license is the vehicles that you will be driving and what kind of option you wanna go. Do you wanna go for financing option? Do you wanna buy it in cash? Or maybe you wanna lease it, or maybe you wanna hire it. It really depends. There are quite a few options, but you do need to think ahead of that because as soon as you got a license, you wanna just go ahead and start trading because you know, you've invested into that business and you do need to move on with it because it will take you some time before you start gathering cash flow and expenses will keep rolling and you're gonna have to pay for everything. So, you know now everything about prerequisites of applying for operating license. So let's go ahead and apply for the license. So where do you start? The best place to start is gov.uk. On gov.uk, you obviously have the whole guide on how to do it and step-by-step -step procedure. I'll put obviously all the links in the description below for you guys, so it's easy just to click on it if you wish to just go ahead and apply straight away. If you don't have an option to access an internet, which nowadays pretty much everyone has, but if you don't, I would recommend you do it still online because it is quicker. It takes about seven weeks for you to get your license if you do do it online. However, if you do want to call DVSA instead and apply by post because they will send you forms to fill in, that can take up to nine weeks. You're still gonna have to do exact same thing as I've explained just a minute ago and pay the fee. The last thing to do is you're gonna have to pay the fee for the operating license application. It's not a lot, um, however, there is one to pay. So this is just something I wanted to make you aware before you go ahead and apply. If you already have a login to gov.uk operating license, then you can just go ahead and log in. If you don't, you will need your debit or credit card and also you will need to log on to the service. So for the first time, you're just gonna have to provide your basic information and that will allow you to log on and complete your application. You don't have to do it all at one go. Your process will be saved up as you go along and you can anytime come back to it and apply. Also, you could apply now, for example, pay the fees and get everything ready whilst your application is already being considered. So, for example, you don't yet have a credit card facilities or you may not have the advertisement placed. You may want to place an advertisement pretty much the same time, which will take about a week for it to come through. And then you're going to have a proof of that advertisement in the newspaper. Then you can attach this a little bit later. So it does allow you for some flexibility and you don't have to have all the documents right at the start, but you will have to provide them eventually because that will just cause a delay if you delay yourself. Once you set up your account, simply sign in to your vehicle operator license account with your credentials. Now you select which license you are applying for. You can select public services vehicle if you are going to be driving buses or coaches. I am selecting HGV and Standard National. Throughout the process of the application, you can track the progress. Here, you see all the sections that need populating, so go through each and every single one and fill in the details and upload the necessary documents whenever required. For example, in the Safety and Compliance section, you can put the maximum number of weeks before you do your PMI on trucks and trailers. Then you add your details of the mechanic whom will be servicing your vehicles. In case you're actually wondering who is issuing your operating license, it is issued by the traffic commissioner in the given area that you applied. Now in England, we've got eight traffic commissioner areas and I'm gonna put them on the screen for you in case you were wondering which area you actually want to apply in, but this is the traffic commissioner in that given area that you're going to be applying for your operating license for. Also another thing I wanted to mention just very quickly is that if you guys want a mentoring, if you guys need somebody to talk to, somebody that is already in the business, somebody that's already done it and gone through all the hardship of setting up such business, we are happy to help you because we do offer actually consultations and we have really helped few people to start up their business and to 
decide what, what they want to do, where they want to apply for license, what trucks to choose. If you have any questions like that, we will be happy to offer you such meeting. I will leave the details in the description below should you wish to have such meeting with us. Josh had been in the industry for over 15 years and he has a great amount of knowledge, which I believe is very valuable for those that may want to start the business and come into this industry. So if you do guys want to, please don't forget to reach out. We are only a phone call away. I will link in the description below as well, the playlist of the video library that we have relating to this particular topic. And if you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video with others. I thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Take care.